Good afternoon. Sorry I'm late, but I found I was in the basement, you know, sweeping it out because my wife never does. So, you know, I, I, she always complains I'm so anal. But anyway, I found these old magazines. So let me let me set up the premise. Today we're going to talk about rock magazines. Only one. Back in the old days, back in the late 60s, there was hardly any literature for rock and roll. There was a fanzine called Crawl Daddy in the university. Their circulation was like 500. But if you see old issues of it, they talked about the major artists of the, that year. But the rest was like 16 Magazine or Tiger Bee. It was mostly geared for young teenage girls or preteen. And it was mostly uh, fandom. You know, who was the cutest. It was sort of like the 1950s. They used to have all these fan magazines. But rock and roll... There was a serious artistic side to it. So, uh, late 1969, the premiere issue had John Lennon's cover. It was this magazine. Rolling Stone. And, uh, I, I thought it was too pompous. I, I didn't like Rolling Stone that much. They try to be literary geniuses, but uh, it's only rock and roll. So, but then, out of the Detroit scene of the MC5 and the Stooges came some, a collective of writers, and they, and they started <clears throat> a magazine called Cream. Now... If you're a sports fan, you always had Sports Illustrated, so you were covered. <clears throat> you had all the trivia. But if you're a rock and roll fan, there was nothing, hardly anything. So one day I was in a 7-Eleven and I saw Cream Magazine. Cream Magazine. And uh, this was a, my first issue I ever got. This is 1973, November. It had about Mott the Hoople in it. They had an article about the Beatles, of course. They had uh, New York Dolls. They talked about Grand Funk Railroad. It was just, you know, perfect. So I just started to buy them every week. I think they were weekly. I'm not sure. Maybe they were monthly. Here's an issue with the Velvet Underground. Yeah, that's nice. And that came out uh, uh, November 87. <clears throat> and now this is this is a thumbnail. Okay. David Bowie. He was uh, David Bowie. And I had all sorts of issues. It, it, it was interesting, you know. Uh, they had a lot of, uh, here's one, uh, a multi-photo uh, layout. Bangles, and uh, what's his name? That guy from uh, Creedence Clearwater. But anyway, he's on here. Okay, and then uh, some band name uh, R.E.M. was on the cover. Peter Gabriel's in there, Genesis, the Meat Puppets. I don't know what the big deal about the Meat Puppets was. They were just uh, some punk band that turned into the Grateful Dead. Uh, you know, there was no there there. 
And it went on and on and on. And I learned all this trivia. Grace Slick, I met her. I met her. So this went on all through the 70s. Yeah. Let's see, that's Rod Stewart. He's still living. And uh, the competitor of this magazine was called Circus. And uh, it was less sophisticated than uh, Cream. It was like a, it was like a teeny bopper thing for rock and roll. It wasn't, let's see if we could, it looks sort of like promotional for promoting bands, but uh, they talked about how many cars they had and how many women they had sex with, you know, stuff like that. And, uh, here's another issue. I was just, uh, I was such a rock and roll junkie that, uh, you know, I just picked up anything that had the subject. I'll just show you this. Okay, what's, what, uh, hmm. this is the 70s, and I can't see because I don't have my glasses. So, so the 70s faded out, and uh, I started to read punk fanzines in the late 70s. They, uh, there was like Flip Magazine, Slash Magazine, stuff like that. So they replaced Cream Magazine for me. Someday I'll show you those. But uh, for the more commercial side of life, you have this thing called Mojo. Uh, Mojo, they came out in England. They have special issues for bands over the past. This issue is about the psychedelic uh, movement back then. It's a good, you, they used to sell in the supermarkets. I don't see them around hardly. But the, the uh, magazine for the 80s was this Spin Magazine. So I started to read that. So uh, finally, you know, the, the internet came around and I don't get any magazines anymore. Maybe I'll get some old ones. But uh, that's where I got all my entertainment inter in information. All right, well, this is number 18. So everybody do what you have to do. And... Uh, we will all live in a yellow submarine eventually. Goodbye. Hare Krishna. Bye. And now, Culture Warfare presents a guest reviewer. That's Black Fang Jr. Reviewing this week's books. Uh.
Mama la. Ooh. Mama. Eh. Uh. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. Ooh, mama. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh huh, uh huh, yeah, yeah. And that was this week's book review by Black Fang Jr. Thank you and come again. Mm-hmm. <laughs>